Hello everyone, welcome back to Anshul Gupta MD, your trusted resource on everything related to thyroid. Today I want you to know the answer to an important question. Whether you have hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's disease and why is it important to know this distinction between hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's disease? So let's get started. So what is hypothyroidism? Hypothyroidism is a condition where your thyroid gland is not able to produce enough thyroid hormone to keep up with the demands of your body. Now, each and every cell, each and every organ of your body needs thyroid hormone to function properly. And this thyroid hormone is made by your thyroid gland. And majority of the people, they get diagnosed with low thyroid or hypothyroidism because the thyroid gland is not able to produce enough thyroid hormone. Now, the interesting part is that it is very important to know the real reason or the cause why your thyroid gland is not able to produce enough thyroid hormone. Most people think that it might be genetic that it runs in their genes or people think it might be because of iodine deficiency. Some people think it might be because of radiation exposure. But the real reason world over currently of hypothyroidism is Hashimoto's disease. Yes, research is very clear that the number one reason of hypothyroidism or low thyroid world over is Hashimoto's disease. So it is not only important to know whether you have hypothyroid or low thyroid, it is also important to know the reason behind it, which is the Hashimoto's disease, so that you can take proper control of your thyroid. Now, what is this Hashimoto's disease? Hashimoto's disease is in a condition called an autoimmune condition of your thyroid gland. In this particular disease, your body starts producing antibodies, which starts destroying your own thyroid gland. Now, this destruction is very slow and sometimes can take days to weeks to months to years to destroy the thyroid gland. And once your thyroid gland is destroyed, then actually it causes hypothyroidism or low thyroid because the destroyed thyroid gland is not able to produce enough thyroid hormone. So you not only need to know whether you have hypothyroidism or low thyroid or not, you also need to know the real cause, whether you have Hashimoto's disease or not. Now, why you need to know the difference? Why you need to know whether you have Hashimoto's disease? Because the management of hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's is totally different. Research is very clear. 60% or more people who have low thyroidism, even though they're taking the medicine, they continue to suffer from symptoms. The real reason is that they do not know whether they have Hashimoto's disease and they have not been properly managed for Hashimoto's disease. So that's the reason you need to know today whether you have Hashimoto's disease or not. Now, the next question most people have is that, can I differentiate it based on my symptoms? So unfortunately, the symptoms of hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's are very similar. And that's the reason it's very difficult to differentiate between your hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's disease. But there might be some suggestions based on your history and your symptoms. So if your thyroid numbers are fluctuating, and you need frequent adjustments of your thyroid medicines, that can again mean that you might have Hashimoto's disease. If you feel that your body is very inflamed all the time, that is another sign that you might have Hashimoto's disease. If you do have brain fog and fatigue, that might be another sign that you might have Hashimoto's disease. So these are some ways that, you know, based on these symptoms that, that might point you towards Hashimoto's disease. But let's talk about the testing of hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's disease. And then I'm going to talk about what is the difference in management or treatment of hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's. So let's first talk about the testing for the hypothyroidism. So for testing the hypothyroidism, the most common test which is ordered is the TSH, which is a thyroid stimulating hormone. If this test is abnormal, that means you do have hypothyroidism. Now beyond that, it is also very important to get checked your free T3 and free T4 levels, which are the actual thyroid hormone your thyroid gland is producing. And that again tells you how your thyroid gland is functioning. But these tests are not checking for Hashimoto's disease. So what are the tests for Hashimoto's disease? So the tests for Hashimoto's disease are two antibodies. One of them is called TPO, which is the thyroid peroxidase antibodies. And the other one is thyroglobulin antibodies. If your results of your blood work of these antibody levels are higher than the reference range given by that lab, that means that is diagnostic of Hashimoto's disease for you. And these tests are available world over with each and every lab. So you can easily get them done through blood work. So now you know like how you can get tested for Hashimoto's disease. Now let's talk about what is the difference between the treatment of hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's. So the only treatment of hypothyroidism currently available world over is supplementing with external thyroid hormone, which is the levothyroxine. In different countries, different names of the medicines are being used. 
but basically it is levothyroxine or sometimes natural version of thyroid hormone is also being used for hypothyroidism. Now, what is the management of uh, Hashimoto's disease? Hashimoto's disease in conventional medicine, the only treatment available with them is again giving you levothyroxine or thyroid hormone replacement. They currently do not have any medicines to stop the destruction of the thyroid gland, to lower the antibodies and to safeguard your thyroid gland. That's where functional medicine is very important because functional medicine model of care has shown that it can not only safeguard your thyroid gland, but also can heal your thyroid gland from Hashimoto's disease. So you can actually feel better as well as your thyroid numbers can also get better. A lot of people don't know that the treatment they're getting levothyroxine is not doing anything for their Hashimoto's disease. It is not lowering their antibodies. It is not safeguarding their thyroid gland. So in reality, your thyroid gland is being destroyed day in, day out because of this Hashimoto's disease. But we have protocols that actually can help people to reverse their Hashimoto's disease and also reverse their symptoms. The protocols that we have developed are very natural. They are based on dietary changes, special diets for Hashimoto's disease, special supplements, which research has shown can lower the antibodies as well as reverse Hashimoto's disease. And as well as they also address the root cause approach. Why did you get Hashimoto's disease and why you are not feeling better from Hashimoto's disease? That's what we address in this protocol for you. I've made several other videos for supplements and dietary changes that you can use for Hashimoto's disease. So you can look at those videos. So now you know why is it important not only to stop at knowing whether you have low thyroid or hypothyroidism. It is also very important to know whether you have Hashimoto's disease or not, so you can properly manage your thyroid conditions. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.